shocking event, nine inmates for Mon jail escapes in view hours of Saturday morning. Fugitive escapes from jail ward number one by breaking iron door and handcuff lock chain. Case registered an investigation underway on all measures to arrest escapees. Congress leader Rajesh Kumar Asethi speaks on minority representations, citing Congress only party to provide opportunity to minority communities. Asethi opines every party must have at least two non Naga representation in assembly so that the voice of minorities can be heard. As road construction between Tekken to Mon headquarter halted due to heavy rains, Konyak Union Mon unit directs concerned authority to complete work within stipulated time. Union threatens if work not satisfied, then own course of action will be initiated by the union. With Gujarat Assembly elections round the corner, political fervor in the state is at an all-time high with Prime Minister Narendra Modi vigorously campaigning for his party. In his three-day visit to hometown Gujarat, appeals to voters to make BJP victorious in all the polling booths. Highly anticipated FIFA World Cup 2022 is finally back. As many as 32 teams from five confederations is set to compete for the coveted trophy at Al Abayat Stadium in Qatar starting today. First match to be played between host Qatar against Ecuador in Group A. Hello viewers, I am Lomika Chumi. Welcome you all to English Prime Time. We will now proceed and look into the news in detail. In a shocking event, nine prisoners escaped from Moon Jail in the wee hours of Saturday morning who were locals from Moon District. Fugitive escaped from Jail Ward No. 1 by breaking the iron door and handcuff lock chain. Furthermore, they climbed across the security fencing wall using a blanket. A case has been registered at the Moon Police Station and investigations are still going on on all measures to arrest the escapees. As the state assembly election is slated to be held next year, former chairman of Minority Department of Congress and former secretary Rajesh Kumar Sethi on a Sunday in an interview with NLTV shared his thoughts on minority representation in the state assembly. Sethi stated that from the Mapur 1 constituency, the first non-Naga MLA was Govind Chandra Paira in the year 1964, while in the year 1977 and 1982, Anwar Hussain was the only non-Naga candidate representing the state. Meanwhile, Sati loaded the Congress and said that it is the only party that provided an opportunity to minority community and further opined that every party should at least have two non-Naga representatives in the assembly so that the voice of the minorities can also be heard. Rajesh Kumar Sethi further mentioned that if the party accepts and allows him to contest from the Mapu one, he will accept it, while he also maintained that there is no issue if the party does not allow him. Why we have not, after that, no one has contested? So, it public to Iman Boy Kaikana, Boy Jaisa, after that, couldn't be Ulabule Munai. कुन भी कोथा कोरी बोले मन नहीं तो आमी कहन जेतिया कोथा होए पार्टी भीतर ते ये तो कोथा तो उलाए कि एटलिस्ट कांग्रेस पार्टी ही एक ता पार्टी आसे नॉन लगा नॉन लगा कुआ तो आमी भी को बोले मन नहीं नॉन लगा लगा किंतु तकन टिकट दिया तो ये तो कांग्रेस पार्टी पर दिशे और ये तो टाइम भी आमी कहन चाहिए that is the reason why, because he has contested from a national party, that is Congress party. So, it two time people laga bhavna to 
जी हम भी कॉग्रेस पार्टी आब लगे कई कने थे क्या कि कॉग्रेस पार्टी केन रेज द भईस टू पार्लियामेंट एंड पार्लियामेंटे कथा करमीखान रिजनेल पार्टी इते थे भी टाइम नपाय कितना नेशनल पार्टी तो टाइम पाए इटरपा नेशनल पार्टी लगा एम पी हम बेस इम्पर्टेन्ट आ कॉग्रेस पार्टी हबि या बजे पी हबि कि नेशनल पार्टी हम वोस तो पार्लियामेंटे रेज कर पे एसेम्बलते नन नागार रिप्रेजेन्टेशन कि जरूरी आसे कि हू उल रेज द वोस फर नन नागार्स हू आर लिविंग हेयर फर हंड्रेड इयार्स और व्हाट इवर इयार्स तो यू लगा कथ तो आब लगे आज नी कल परसु आब कि आब लगे सम्बाडी हेज टू स्टार्ट तो हू उल स्टार्ट देट इज द रिजन खाली अमिर खान लगा पार्टी लगा कथा ना आम तो बजे पी खान के भी कह इतु दूसरा पार्टी होले भी एनपीएफ होले भी रीजनल पार्टी होले भी तखान सर अपनी अपनी क्वेश्चन करिया से दान अमी तखान के भी क्वेश्चन करिया से कि ले कि नॉन लगा रिप्रेजेंटेशन होबो लागे तो आमी खान लगा पार्टी ते लगा मैनिफेस्टो ते 2018 ते भी थाकी से और 2023 ते आई बोले भी थाकी तते रखी बोले मन से कि एटलीस्ट टू रिप्रेजेंटेशन As the road construction between Taking to Mon headquarters remains incomplete due to heavy rains, the Konyak Union Mon unit on Sunday directed the affluent enterprise and services to complete the work within the stipulated time of 24 March 2023. The union further stated that if the work is not satisfied as per the project report and the timeline given by the enterprise, the union will take its own course of action. Meanwhile, the union also inspected the Mon Namtola Road construction second phase on Saturday. The excise mobile squad duty party at the Delhi check gate intercepted a truck around 3 in the morning on Saturday where two persons namely Yumlambam Amethi and K Prem were arrested due to illegal liquor smuggling. The incident took place at the Kermahol traffic signal in Dimapur where after a frantic chase 400 cases of various alcoholic beverages were found hidden beneath bundles of prefabricated pet bottles during preliminary investigation police found out that the truck moved out from 8 mile guwahati with the consignment and was on its way to impal manipur notably the seized articles were deposited in the excise malkana and further investigation of the case is still on Tobu Town Baptist Church observed a Thanksgiving Day on Sunday. During the Thanksgiving service, a Tobu Town pastor J Tongpang Konyak thanked the community members for offering their best to God, while he urged the church members to be always thankful to God. He further narrated the Bible story about Abel and Cain, offering to make the community realize how to offer the best to God. It may be mentioned that number of fruits, vegetables, maize, millets, paddy rice, traditional garments, cash amount, chicken, duck, and other various food items from the field were offered by the Baptist community of Tobu Town. Notably, the program of Thanksgiving service was chaired by Mission Chairman T T B C Bulong Yakpa. The annual meet of Federal Government of Nagaland and Naga National Council is scheduled to take place on November 28 at 10 a.m. in the Transit Peace Camp of Kohima. FGN Ministry of Rally Wali has requested all the central authorities, regional authorities, Naga Women Federation's leaders, Naga Youth Federation's leaders, and eligible Naga Army officers of the NNC. FGN to attend the annual meet.
As the assembly election in Meghalaya is around the corner, Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sangma on Sunday stated that his party, National People's Party, would fight alone in the assembly elections. Sangma, while addressing media, stated that National People's Party will go alone in the upcoming election of the state, as even earlier the party fought alone, while it will continue its support to NDA. He further informed that out of the 60 assembly seats of Meghalaya, NPP have a finalized party candidates in 58 seats. Furthermore, talking about TMC's strength in Meghalaya, the Meghalaya CM said that TMC will not be able to show a good performance in the upcoming state assembly elections as it was not united. Meanwhile, talking about the Citizen Amendment Act, and he said that the centre should exempt more areas of the notice under the preview of the car. कि NPP का खुद का identity है और इसलिए हम लोग कोई भी election हो सिर्फ ये मेगल election नहीं पहले भी कोई भी चुनाव हो सभी चुनाव में हम लोग खुद अकेले लड़े हैं तो मेगल election में भी हम लोग अकेले लड़ेंगे हमारा support हरदम NDA के साथ रहा है और रहेगा आगे भी और आगे भी हम लोग जो political situation आएगा unfold होगा उसको देखकर हम लोग साथ काम करेंगे लेकिन जब election में जाते हैं तो हम लोग अपना एक है objective अपना mission और अपना जो है manifesto रिजल्ट आएगा उसके बेसिस पे हम लोग सरकार का जो है बात करेंगे हमारे एज ऑफ ना हमारे 58 कैंडिडेट्स अनाउंस हो चुके हैं टीएमसी से और लोग निकलकर और भी अलग-अलग दूसरे पार्टी जा रहे हैं तो ये साफ दिखाता है कि जो ऑपोजिशन है वो बिखर रहा है और टीएमसी भी है जो एक ऐसी पार्टी है जो नॉर्थ ईस्ट में और स्पेशली मेघालय में अभी एक्सेप्टेबल नहीं है कि ये समथिंग वेयर वी हैड इनिशियली व्हेन द नॉर्थ ईस्ट स्टेट्स वर नॉट एग्जेम्प्टेड वी वर अपोजिंग एंड आफ्टर द एग्जेम्पشنز हैव टेकन प्लेस एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टेट्स हैव गॉट प्रोटेक्शन इदर अंडर टू शिक्षा शेड्यूल एंड थ्रू दिस अंडर द आईएलपी एक्ट the Jumo Kidima Village Youth Society has informed the public to firmly outlaw all forms of hunting and fishing within the village's boundaries. Violators will be apprehended and a fine up to rupees 1 lakh will be imposed, depending on the seriousness of the infraction and the extent of the damages. The following restrictions include burning wildfires, picnicking without permission from the youth office, collecting firewood and fodder fits, and unauthorized door-to-door -door business. Furthermore, the village society informed that they would maintain a regular vigil to keep any miscreants and antisocials from upsetting the tranquility of the village's jurisdiction. Also, they gave residents the advice to refrain from loitering in the village's neighborhood after 8 p.m. if possible. On the occasion of the 400th birth anniversary of Lachit Borbukun, a 17th century Assamese general of the Ahom Kingdom, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address a valedictory event on November 24 in New Delhi. It may be mentioned that a flagship event will be held at the national capitals Vigyan Bhavan on November 23 and 24, where Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman will inaugurate an exhibition on November 23, which will also be attended by Union Home Minister Amit Shah as a chief guest. A delegation team from Assam, led by Speaker Biswajit Dayamari and 32 MLAs, reached Bangladesh on Saturday for a goodwill machine. The team consists of both ruling and opposition MLAs along with cultural troops as well as bureaucrats of the Assam Legislative Assembly Secretariat. Speaker Dayamari, while highlighting the importance of the mission, stated that 
both the countries will talk about cultural exchange, whereas the legislatures will study about the transport and tourism industries in Bangladesh. Furthermore, the delegation team will also meet a Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and the Speaker of Bangladesh Parliament. With the elections around the corner, Prime Minister Narendra Modi during his three-day visit to Gujarat addressed four public rallies and also offered prayers at iconic Asomna Temple on Sunday. PM Modi addressed the rallies at Verval, Dorarji, Amerli and Botat in Shorashtra region. Incidentally, in the last assembly elections, BJP could not win a single seat in the Shorashtra constituency. Meanwhile, on November 21, PM Modi will hold three rallies in Surendranagar, Baruch and Navsari. The Congress Lok Sabha MP Rahul Gandhi is also expected to visit Navsari on November 21, the same day that PM Modi is expected to be in Navsari. The Prime Minister, who hails from Gujarat, is expected to hold meeting with the state leaders during his stay in Gujarat to boost the party spirit. Union Minister Harbananda Honowal inaugurated the Northeast first complex of Regional Research Institute of Unani Medicine in Silchar on Sunday. The institute was developed by a National Projects Construction Corporation and was handed over to the Central Council for Research in Unani Medicine. Addressing the gathering, Honowal remarked that effectiveness of the Ayush system of medicines in enhancing the quality of life and also added that the Unani medicine practice must be harnessed rationally as it will build a robust healthcare system. The institute is equipped to screen patients with non-communicable diseases and will also provide health checkups for school children. The 53rd International Film Festival India has begun in Goa on Sunday, which will also include gala premieres of various Hindi films such as Aparish Rawal and Adil Hussain Starer, The Storyteller and Drisham II. Union Minister Anurag Thakur, while inaugurating the nine-day festival, stated that the festival is a platform where eminent filmmakers, directors and artists of the country as well as from across the world get an opportunity to showcase their films. This edition of IFFI will also mark the glorious 50 years of Manipur in cinema where five feature films along with a documentary on the life of the theatre maestro Ratan Tiam for Manipur will be showcased. Furthermore, critically acclaimed Spanish director Carlos Sora will be honoured with the Satyajit Ray Lifetime Achievement Award, while eight of his films will also be screened. The festival will also screen Dada Saheb Palke Awadi, Asha Parekh's films such as Tisri Manzil, Do Bandan and Kati Patang. Good to see international movie and their star cast being at the 53rd International Film Festival of India. It clearly showcases how India is emerging as a cinema power, cinema power in the world. And we could see a lot of big stars coming to India, not only to showcase their movie, but also to look at the collaboration for the co-production and also to do shootings in the film. India can become the content hub of the world. We have everything which is required for the film industry from the best shooting places to the best you know talented people who could be of great help and also a great market to be here the indian army has issued tenders for the purchase of 62500 bulletproof jackets for its frontline troops amid the threat of the use of steel core bullets by terrorists in india
Notably, the Ministry of Defence issued two separate tenders for these jackets under Make in India, including one for 47,627 jackets under the normal route and the other one for 15,000 jackets under emergency procurement procedures, which would be finalised in the next three to four months. It may be mentioned that the procurement for 47,627 jackets would be done in phases and is expected to be completed in the next 18 to 24 months. Congress leader Mahabal Amishra on Sunday joined Arvind Kejriwal led Amadmi Party ahead of the upcoming Municipal Corporation of Delhi. Former Congress MP from West Delhi, Mahabal Mishra joined the AAP in the presence of party leader Kejriwal as well as Delhi's deputy CM Sisodia during a public rally. Furthermore, Mishra's membership in the Congress Party was terminated in 2020 after his son Vinay Mishra joined the AAP. With the elections for the Municipal Corporation of Delhi around the corner, Bharatiya Janata Party on Sunday hold 14 roadshows across Delhi. Each roadshow was led by 14 leaders of the party in 14 different districts across Delhi. The roadshows was led by BJP President J.P. Nada, Union Defence Minister Rajanath Singh, Assam CM Himanta Biswa Sarma, Himachal CM Jairam Thakur, Haryana CM Manohar Lal Qatar, and several others. MCD elections will be held on December 4 and results will be announced on December 7 for 250 seats. Rahul Gandhi on Sunday resumed the Bahara Joro Yatra from Bindal district in Maharashtra. The nationwide Padyatra, which entered Maharashtra on November 7 and covered Nandan, Higoli, Wasim, Akola and Buldana districts of the state. The Yatra had also covered parts of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Meanwhile, Rahul Gandhi is scheduled to campaign for upcoming Gujarat Assembly elections on November 21 and will also address two rallies at Surat and Rajkot. Earlier on Saturday, Rahul Gandhi paid tributes to his grandmother Indira Gandhi during his ongoing Padyatra, which is seen as an attempt to encourage the party rank and file for the upcoming electoral battles. The Department of Fisheries, the Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Diaring, Government of India and National Fisheries Development Board is all set to celebrate World Fisheries Day on November 21 at Swami Vivekananda Auditorium in Damat. During the event, the Government of India will award a Best Performing States Districts for during past three years, that is 2019 to 20 to 2021 to 22, in the categories of best district for inland, marine, hilly, and northeastern region, best quasi government, organization, federation, corporation, board in England, marine, hilly, and northeastern region. Besides, there will be award felicitations to best fish farmer, best fisheries enterprises. Best Fisheries Cooperative Societies, FPOS, HGS, Best Individual Entrepreneurs, Best Innovation Idea, and Technology Infusion. It is to be mentioned that World Fisheries Day is celebrated on November 21 every year to demonstrate a solidarity with all of fisher folk, fish farmers, and concerned stakeholders throughout the world.
The national capital Delhi's air quality dipped to just below the very poor category on Sunday with an overall AQI of 297. Furthermore, in the national capital region, Gurugram recorded an AQI of 239 while Noida stood at 328. Amid continuing poor air quality, the subcommittee for invoking actions under the Graded Response Action Plan held a meeting on Saturday to review the progress of the actions implemented under Stage 2 along with Stage 1 of the GRAP in the entire NCR. Practice we are coming on Sunday to Sunday. Before it was very poor, today it's better. How is it? Breathing issues, there was a lot of practice for the sound training. But right now, I feel better. जब मैं पहले यहाँ आता था मेरी आँखों में जलन होती थी अब यहाँ अच्छा हो गया है यहाँ अच्छा अब एन्जॉय कर पा रहा हूँ मैं यहाँ हाँ ऐसे ही होता था आँखों में जलन और सांस लेने में दिक्कत होती थी और अभी ऐसा कुछ नहीं हाँ नहीं है ऐसा कुछ अब अब ठीक हो गया है एन्जॉय कर रहा हूँ मैं और हम अक्सर यहाँ सुबह टहलने के लिए आ जाते हैं कर्तव्य पथ पर जब से ये स्पेशली अब बना है नए तरीके से तो देखता हूँ कि बहुत बदल रहा है मौसम में खास कर ये जो पोल्यूशन का जो है ना समस्या ये बहुत ज़्यादा हो रही है अब हम भी उसमें समय जिस समय बहुत ज़्यादा पोल्यूशन होता है उस समय अवॉइड करते हैं आने के लिए the wait for the highly anticipated FIFA World Cup 2022 is finally over as host Qatar will be clashing against Ecuador in the very first match on Sunday at Al Abayat Stadium. A total of 32 teams from five confederations will be competing for the coveted trophy, whereas the final will be played on December 18. The host Qatar is the first Middle East country to ever host the world's most loved sport. Football World Cup while the last World Cup was held in Russia. This edition of World Cup will also be very memorable for football fans all across the globe as two of the most decorative players in the history of football, Portugal's Cristiano Ronaldo as well as Argentina's Lionel Messi will be playing the last World Cup before bidding goodbye to the beautiful game. On the other hand, Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar on Sunday arrived in Doha to represent India at the inauguration of the FIFA World Cup and also to meet the Indian community during his two-day official visit. Meanwhile, South Korean boy band BTS Jungkook would be performing Dreamers at the opening ceremony along with other possible performers like Black Eyed Peas, Robbie Williams and Nora Fatehi. So viewers, that's all we have for now. Keep watching Nagaland TV. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on GOTV.